Today on What Went Wrong, how you need to act when the shit hits the fan. Hi, I'm Brett Mauser and I've made over 40 feature films. And there's been a few times where I've really f***ed up. Sometimes the stress has gotten to me. But there are also times I've stayed composed, just taken a deep breath and been the captain of my ship. And that's what you have to do as director of your movie. You have to be the captain of your ship. You have to answer hundreds of questions. You have to have fallback plans and be prepared for anything because anything can and will happen on your set. And you have to weather it with grace, composure, and maturity. That's not always easy, but you have to remember that your cast and crew has placed their trust in you. They need to know that you can handle anything that's thrown at you. They have to trust that you will make the right decisions. In some cases, they're putting their physical well-being in your hands and trusting that you'll be doing the right thing and making the right call. How can they trust you when you say the stunt they're about to do is safe? when they can see you crying and having a nervous breakdown on your set. You have to maintain control. Sometimes this means being an asshole and pushing forward without emotion and empathy. Sometimes it means sitting them down and having an emotional and poignant talk. Sometimes it's playing mediator, but it always means that you need to be someone your cast and crew can trust. It's not easy because you have emotions too. But when you're the leader, when you're the captain, you have to be the calm one. You have to push down those emotions and think from a strictly logical and rational standpoint. One of my favorite jokes is about a pirate who sailed the seven seas. He'd often have to avoid the Spanish Armada or the British Navy. Sometimes they'd have to battle them, sometimes they'd get boarded. One such day, he looks out and is told by his first mate that there's a Navy ship on the horizon. The pirate tells his first mate, Fetch me my red shirt. He does so. The pirate puts it on, fights the battle, and is right there, leading his men as the British board his ship. He fights them off, and they live to pirate another day. A week later, his first mate spots two ships on the horizon. The pirate tells his first mate to fetch his red shirt. He puts it on and leads his men to victory again. Later that night, the first mate asks the captain, why do you always ask for your red shirt? In confidence, the pirate tells his first mate that should the pirate ever be run through or cut, that he doesn't want his men to know that he's been wounded. So if he ever bleeds, his men won't see the red blood and won't lose confidence and will keep fighting. The next day, the first mate looks out on the horizon and sees 12 ships headed their way. He rushes to the pirate captain to tell him, Captain, 12 British ships are on the horizon. The captain looks to his first mate and says, Fetch me my brown pants. That captain has the right idea. You as the director need to lead your cast and crew to victory. That means hiding your wounds, hiding your pride. That means you need to bury those emotions and not let them out until you are alone or with someone you trust. You need to be the strong one. And even when you're hurting, even when your back is sore and your heart is broken, you need to maintain at least the appearance of confidence and control. Otherwise, once you start losing it, your cast and crew will be soon to follow. So next time your girlfriend leaves you for the lead actor of your movie, or your locations fall through, or an actor decides to extort money from you, or your entire lighting truck crashes, destroying all of your lighting gear, remember to hold up your head, smile, make the decision that you're gonna get through this. Then look at your assistant director and tell him, fetch me my brown pants. Hi, I'm Brett Mauser, and I wrote the book on how to make a movie with no money. And here it is. Uh, yeah, see, it's, it's got pictures and everything. So head on over to our website, notsosane.com, and get your digital or paperback copy today.